Samonani, welcome to it daily tetai kamala mukini shandu namhlanje kumsomluko abanye bathi umvulo sithi captain siyakholisi captain my captain sithula isigqoko bangumusa mthembu as well for a comrade marathon sithula isigqoko nawo wonke abantu abakwazi le kwa take part ngisho nalaba bangafika ngesikhathi ezwana ngamaqhawe 8 but namhlanje ku daily tetha sibuka udabu balekile NGOs asebenza kanjani ningi lawo and wanna find out exactly ukuthi ubani ongakwazi ukuthi i own and ongai own we've seen the trend ikhula kakhulukaza ningi South Africa now, South Africa, Yonkani, where even you look at 2017 lightnings in Africa, 8.6 billion rand were allocated for our NGOs. And what's the purpose of them? And why would one open ENPO? Give us a call at home. It's 011 339 1315 for funders. The hashtag is very simple. It's Daily Teta. Otherwise, Nicolette, when I call an NGO, NPO, and Sanana, Kita nak kalau sahut sahut lah lagi ni, because sometimes kita ada confusion nak orang ki NGO, ki NPO, ki NPC, ki trust, ki foundation. They've all got these many names, and you never really know korang which ones of them are legit. And I think look, that's what we're trying to do. And most of the times, and maybe you donate and assist. Do you also track down which person is going to be or you just put money and that's it? You don't care. It's not that I don't care. I just kaliwa la man to track, but nak kaliwi token na Nicolette or Ramashile at all agang kama token niki sesi fortune wa. Ramadala. Question is, will you be donating soon? I will. Uh, and then I'm trying to find out exactly what the yin is on Jenny Saguti organization is sent to you. Otherwise, it's welcome. Wonka Umuto Sengi, you know, come to you. Assist the buffet on that side. I think Aratome Mora says in pushing, Rikwa Horna. What actually is a charity organization? And Rikwa understanding Horna charity organization according to Wenny, Unaling Yo. Now, what is it? Okay, uh, I'm to talk about the case of 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 the organization of the case 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 of of the case of the case of the time of the case 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 the case of Rekotlele chaba na ba 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 di kolo ona ba nuru shetero chumi le kamo karlo nchi chaba uskuku ne rates amara rekotlele chaba na rubi kolo reba bocha gora ne education is the key to their success. Okay. Rekotlele nchi we chango gora ke mind transformation session. Basically nchi we chano gora bocha gora watse ba keng kanta li tuto kas chano gora draselo reba nuru poverty pile mata ena reba nuru bato ba banchi nchi ba nyaka ba nyaka ba di chicken soup and all that. But nchi we ringe ra realize that as a mariba foundation gora ba na ba sancho ba tse ba gora tuto kile sedi and how can they alleviate themselves from poverty? Mm. All right, and I think Kini, that's what we want to talk a little bit about. Hore, should we strip away this dependency, any charity organization, to beg for funding? And I mean, I'm listening to her calling it a professional beggar. I'm just yeah. like, uh, uh, we need to find a new model. I think we do, but before we go, that Mummy Von Napa, a cool M Gaga next to me, Unchelis Torso Gutierna, Jungum Dom Talia Tanduxis, a cool gas, a band to special Lababa Sem Quatrain, but Utoli experience a sugile where I found out good there's a corruption. And the Gala into this and you, Mammy Von San Bonan, you come along to give for him shall in Suke Hilpro. Yang a volunteer, my organization, a man in the Hilp. Yeah, Yebo, Kona, a Konama organization are good, but not all of them. So, what I have discovered, Guguti, um, but Tolly Mali, and then Batiba will be Tolly Mali, but pretend as if Abandwana, Bashalanabo, at the age of eighteen. Abala Shilim Katwin. Aba train wanga la bantuan. Abana ma pas la bantuan. Aba rinu abakange baba reunite na ma family zabo. So ushugu tinje is a wasted effort ye mali e a puma ku government. It's a wasted effort ye mali sugar to puma government, but there's something from Umaheta next to me. No heta wana ba rani organization, aba tatin shone sent ogwa manje. As many as journalists need to make it, when Mamu Vernon tells you, "Kuna mantaba tata le mali," by seven say, "Ngenge la zab enga sizga kulgozo mparat." Ah, sanbona no make it alone. Ah, gulogo, guma NGO or NPC. Inte ogu inkinga kakulu guti, sugars funu guta tina. Forget dunguti, mau ikalo ikalela abantu guzu benefit the charity or the community. So what do we do in tina? Lang we are connected, ma. We had ama two nuclear engineer. So what we did, say sa vula wa vula NPO, which is about honor, because one of them ugumani jose nasa. Oh wow. So sa ba honor, we teaching people, ah, my student from grade eight until twelve. 
science pen. Ni tata pima leogo ti nenzo zonka rezi zinto nba onari and ma onari. How do you guys raise money uh, ni nanje market? Sa sponsare. Like from your own pocket. So from our own pocket sa sponsare la sa bafundi se if bafuna ma tools ati se cause go science bafuna gama experiment and so skipa giti se basis tenga la oma tools la or then to. Abantu abanjenga na basa cha legi le ni collect as far na tu tabantu batin on social media pa tu selo namsha just kunu mapat NGOs. Can I think before about the NGO for Mache Taliban? It being Youth Month, mm. it's nice to shine the light on people like that that are young and doing yeah. absolutely amazing things. So rale lebo ha. That the France, kito ubale la social media ito akum bali chate. Are nowadays people are all about making the quick buck. When we donate, we don't often get to see the result of our assistance. Ang comment le koyon. Okay, friends, everyone from Atresil Mutugwa. The challenge Ellen think Hore people are not doing out of heart. Mm -hmm. And the other is saying Hore people are looking for what are going to benefit. Mm -hmm. So give more the thing of uh, corruption and abuse of mm -hmm. powers because of some people they are doing this because it's well known people. Mm -hmm. Some they've got a uh, their children they've got connections, mm -hmm. then they've, they've got access of money, mm -hmm. but the money doesn't go to the relevant people. Luena wa pereski pasa sa radio station. Well, Luena wa charity hour because well known. We, no, we, mm -hmm. we are we are working with with boys, young boys. Okay. Uh, we are doing project the uh, skill development to these boys. Oh, nice. We are doing coding. We are we are, we are sending them to uh, life skills uh, centers. The coder, coder, coding, coding, yeah, coding, coding. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, we've got a, a, a digital center in Chuan, a digital center. Mm. That's where we came with them. And Pell is giving is giving us media only if we want to do uh, maybe an announcement to, to the community that on this they will be having an event somewhere so people will for invitation. Okay. So we are partnering with them uh, in terms of of that program. Mm. But basically, we, 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 we work with Haute Men's Forum, mm. which was uh, the program was started by the president mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, chairperson as a chairperson. Mm. So we, 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 we are working on so that. Um, we, we are working most with the school leavers. Okay. The school leavers that are, are sitting home. So that are the number for now? That, like are, the, that are doing. Uh, almost in, in, in the ones we, 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 we get the boys or, or, or the age from 18 to 35 is a mm. youth. Man, guy, guy. Let's say you have a it's just a shaman of a guy. We're working at uh, normally we, we say 45 every 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 month. Okay, yeah. perfect. That sounds absolutely amazing, Kenny, because. You know, sometimes the thing with charity organizations, like what this person said and what you asked me earlier on, is very difficult to track. Yeah. But Kini, if you had the funds, mm. what charity would you start? For me, I think uh, it would be more about uh, helping Abantu because I think mm. there are more skillful people out there, but some of them, they don't even know what, what can they do. But mm. I'm very much interested in the story of blessing Jengamanje because of the blessing, but again, but now was Wakala, another organization, as well. Tell us about that quickly before they break in. Okay, um, Kamala Muspusi, so much long, we are So, we should put him organization le apart from the Abu Mahat, a Lengi, a focus called intermediate phase and since I mean, they got cool action aid, Nabo Pretline Africa. So, yes, focus on the Senabantuana, Nama studies, Wabo, and then Conan feeding scheme. Pagati, yeah. So, in terms of the funding, since I'm fundraising events, okay, yeah, just to go to see Kipelia. They are income, they are not, mm. not, they are not looking at the piano but, so that. But there's this connotation a corner if you're starting an organization or a charity organization, but I want to our you know, of Mugu Langai Mal. What are you guys doing about that? Nitina, but my best day for analysis. Yeah, uh, recently, CS Aba now, my comment on Jangala. Yeah, Naloko see. At least it's Konogutim seven that is is Kulumele I see. Yeah, because whatever CNs are involved in Pagat. Okay. Yeah, so Nala Aba Aba Masenza my fundraising events, Aba Sfanda, Aba sponsors with Aba Corner now to see you with Imalia. A funder in the Africa. That's what we're going to be looking at. We'll come over with Scott and I'm trying to tell you. Give us a call. Like, I'm going to talk to you about this. It's 011 339 1315. I'm going to talk to you about this. I'm going to talk to you about this. I'm going to talk to you about this. And see, what is an NPO? What's an NGO? What's yeah. a trust? What's a foundation? We get a better understanding of that right after the break.
Welcome back to Daily Teta and Sir Leveleta by the charity organization. the NGO, the NPO, the NPC, and in this segment, we're trying to get a better understanding of the definition of NGO. And I think it's, it's, it's so important because at least more to engage Leona will get a better understanding. We're joined on the couch by Nelson Mandela Children's Funds Finance Manager, Dr. Vincent Homo, and then also Mzim Goma, who's from Goma um, Empowerment Group. Welcome to Daily Teta. Thank you so much. Thank you. Non-governmental organization. Hey, hey, hey. So my mother's in Tlanga no Engeko Kuhulmen. Okay. So it is an organization that assists the government. Okay. We are not a charity. Yes. At all. At all. Ka. Okay. limited emination or masizoti um seven We are not charity. Okay. But we are rendering a service to, to the community in, in aiding or in supporting what the government is doing. Okay. Can, can you can maybe give us a few a few examples? Yeah. Because Khanak yeah. a government organization, Kenakana yes. Department of Ying Engi, Bo Sandra, which are the state owned agencies. Yes. So telling me I'm an example I too. Yeah. My, my, my NGO. Yeah. We've got, we've got Sanka, for example. Yeah, bon. Sanka is an organization. Yes. We've got World Vision. Yes. We've got a gift of the givers. Yes. Those are, are my examples of I'm a, I'm a, I'm a non-governmental organization. If you like, you can also call them I'm a non Profit organization. So these are ways that you can use interchangeably. Yeah, bon? Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Sure. And then, let me come to you, uh, but Vincent as well from uh, E. Nelson and Mandela Children's Fund. Gewena, it seems as if they are um, uh, NGOs. Mm. Why is that? Is maybe mm. a name the way that way that gives more weight or what you guys do? I think from our, from our side, mm. because we're not necessarily the NGO that's implementing on the ground. Mm, mm. We are a funding organization. Mm, I see. Mm. So we are the ones are that funding? raise funds mm -hmm. to, to provide funding to NGOs on the I ground. See. Okay. So we are working with a list of many organizations that are applying to us. Mm. Then we assist them in terms of funding so that they can do their work on the ground. And, okay. and, and, and yes. for me, what you found in Nina, what must I do? What, what must I have or produce yes. uh, and, and register if there is a yes. place where I need to register? Yes. You need to be registered mm. with, the, with the Department of Social Development. Mm. I see. That's where you'll get your NPO number. Mm. Okay. And you also need to register. Reg registration is very important. Mm. You also need to register with SAS. Where you yes. get a public benefit organization certificate. Oh, okay. So these are the things that we look at in terms of an organization that is registered and that is. Uh, yes. Yes. I am going to go back to what you've just said yes. right now. Yes. Or you are not charities. Yeah. You're not a charity. Say, okay, a charity organization. Minisang tita siswam for this reason. Yeah. A charity is someone of Velanigas and Jay Zinto about you just give, but you are rendering a service. Okay. You are offering a service. Get depend on is sector you or when you founded your organization, we found on what premise. Oh, yes. Kunabanto who are passionate about water conservation, for example. Okay. You are born. So yeah. now they will now group themselves together and what they do. But Tina, um, seven zero to Jogwenza show, which is South Africa, Sibanamans, mm. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then Kuna Bata Bata Diluan, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they will like about WWF. Yes, yeah, yes. These are world organizations. About Tina Stan Diluan, about SPCA. These are NGOs mm. which are focusing on learning, for instance. Mm, mm. So now when you found your organization, you must know exactly what are you founding. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So many to charity, they saw to me it has does not resonate well with, with what the word yeah, is. With the what the word is. Mm. Rather, let us say we are community-based organizations mm. that are rendering a particular service mm. depending on our skills and competencies at any given time. You don't have to yeah. see because you don't have to see because you don't have to see because you don't have to see because you do And one, one question I want to find out is uh, the difference between the NPC as well as uh, the trust mm. as well. Mm. Yeah. And also on top of that, Maskulumala um, of air before Sizalai Moen, yes. one tell us some story, Guti, there was a uh, 
a family. Yes, it was the NP, NPC or NPO? It was an NPO. Oh, NPO. NPO, NPO yes. And I wanted to find out with what is so wrong about the family actually registering NPO. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Shand. Uh, 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 men, ENPO act, I have a family members. Let's say the four of us, we cannot start an NPO. Oh, yeah, we can start it as, an, as a family, but we, it cannot be recognized mm. as a legitimate. But, 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 can yeah. I just come in there? Yes. So, for instance, uh, Lord forbid this happens. Yes. Yeah. No, it's not going to happen. No. You talk about like I can. Yes, me. You know, you know, the family, you know, the family, you know, the family, the Nicolette Mashile Cancer Foundation. Yes. And is it not, is it still not allowed for the family to be involved? Yeah. The family is involved, but in in terms of the, its registration, oh. the recognition. Remember, this is not a family uh, affair yes. organization car. Yes. It is an organization that is supposed to be helping the community, okay. empowering the community. So that is why then you cannot register it as 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 a Nicolette Shandu, as a Kini Shandu, yeah. as a Mzi Shandu. You mm. cannot do that. Mm. It is 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 called a register. So God must register provided to Guti Ukini Yabona or Nicolette and somebody else with a different name. Mm. Then we can mm. now. If should it happen, Guti, Magube Konezi is in the Lesso Guas, good sixes and Ayo, Umushoni, so that the Lakers, but it must be known, good to know, who Nelson Mandela White Color, this yeah. foundation, okay. for instance, okay. Yabon. Okay. Yeah. But right. now you cannot be the immediate beneficiaries as family members. Mm -hmm. It is not allowed by law. All right. Yeah, you, you mentioned something about Nelson Mandela. No, you let one ask something mm. about Nelson Mandela. I just want to get a better understanding with Nelson Mandela, Ian Zan, because you've already explained to us, Guti, you're a fund. Yes. But often when we hear about uh, international funders, coming to South Africa or Bata, we almost always hear where the National Mandela Fund is being given, you know, a certain donation. Mm -hmm. So how does it work? You guys go and lobby for money? Yes, we actually do. Okay. We go to other countries to raise funding. Yeah. And just to clarify one thing, we, we have the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund, mm -hmm. and we also have the Nelson Mandela Foundation. Children's Fund, you have to like Yes, eh. that's the one that built the hospital. Okay, that's yes. nice. So the beneficiaries salon ali di di classify abiang. Like I think Kini has mm. asked this question earlier on. Are are kra the right answer or the or understand the kora na ring kaba kili kini kita dile an NPO. Kya kwa na kota national ganera Nelson Mandela Children's Fund kire kina liba ana ba kwa toko melang ita ma abiang. Yeah, absolutely. So what do we do, we have, we have focus areas that we work on. Mm, mm. So our main focus areas for this year, for the next maybe five years, mm. because we work on strategies every year. Mm. So our main focus is on child survival and development. We have mm. four programs that we work on. Mm. So those focus on the first years, first thousand years mm. of a child. Okay. Oh. So from birth for the first thousand, first thousand years. years yeah. yeah. So that's where our main focus is on. Thousand and years or days? F thousand days. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay. Sorry. Sorry for that. That's and an old person. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thousand days. Yes. Yeah. And we also have a program that's looking at child safety and protection. Nice. So that's where we look. At, we, we want to partner with organizations that are looking at the rights of children on hey. the ground. Hey ensuring that there's safety within communities. Mm. There's also safety in schools. Mm. So, so we, we, we identify and work with partners like okay. that. Okay. Yeah. See, before say, say, say break in, yes. a quick one for you to, the way company, um, 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 companies are uh, to our under Section 21 companies, what, what is that? Yeah, Gukana before the new act, the mm. Konita Babies would have a section 21. Yes. Mm. Because within the act, there was a section 21 mm -hmm. that will, of course, will cater for this organization. Mm. But now, the new companies act, yeah, born, yeah, Shinjo Agamash, but no, 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 and say say section 21, mm. but the same guy, Labant and Babies would have non profit companies. Mm. Yeah, born, yeah. So, you know, Okumu, the more register, yeah, NPC now. Yeah, yes, yes. my NPC, yeah. The difference NPC. between NPC and NPO? Yeah, into your auto system, I'm good. It depends. Go to another body that registers them. Mm. Let me make an example. I'm a, I'm a NPOs, NGOs, churches, mm. they are being registered by the Department of Social Development. Okay. And yet, NPC is a non profit company. Mm. So, for example, you can be running a company, a baby's a daily theater. Mm. So, mm. but in Nibo, no, 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 no. there is a company, it, it exists. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 classify under the category about my social entrepreneurs. Mm, so mm. as a daily theater company, you can also register a wing that will 
do nothing else but from the profits and you know that you are empowering the communities whether oh, nice. it is skills development whether it be any other way in which you want to empower the community. In fact, it's a way of giving back to the community. Right. Tina, 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 for example, see, see Mgoma Empowerment Groups, mm. see PTY LTD. However, we also have a non-profit company, mm. ABIB GPE, Global People Empowerment. We are empowering about skills development, and we register entities, and we empower them as okay. well. Okay, if nice. you have something, a car now, Fnugui Buza as well, give us a call. It's 011-339-1315. Nangu Mgoma Mpendula Yong, Kitesi Mbuza. Asama Ese Prekin, but now, because it's telephone. I've known people personally, can't name, mention names, but it's a game, it's all a, a scam at the end of the day. Yeah, I'm by seven said it's NGO and you would benefit all the time. It's human nature to benefit from from something, you know what I'm saying? It's South Africa after all, so anything is possible. I think the role of NGOs in the community are to, you know, address social ills, to supplement government's role, uh, where, because government can't take on, you know, all social ills or all, you know, aspects in society on their own. And kosho by NGO in Zandoni, because up and Salakona Aiko. I think they play essentially a supportive role in helping out those in need. I feel more of a, of, of, of a platform that allows for awareness on what exactly um, is needed in the community because there's more than one uh, essential need that the country needs or, or that a specific place actually needs. So, yeah. I don't think communities need Charity anymore, bro. We need we need financing, bro. We need we need proper financing. You know, the communities are suffering, bro. The social problems that I would address is crime. There's a lot of crime where I live. Not a lot, but you know, sometimes it's not safe to like go out at night freely. I think, you know, there's a lot of people that are still on the street. I mean, in this day and age, you still find, uh, you know, young, young, young people that are out on the street and they don't have jobs, they are homeless. And right about now, it's like winter time. So I think I would do something related to that, kind of find them things to do, so to just get them off the street. In the past, we've seen scandals linked to, you know, NGOs, charity funds. I think one as big as ne uh, the Nelson Mandela Fund had a scandal not so long ago. Uh, so regardless of the scale, um, I think people are able to take advantage of that and use it to their benefit. I don't necessarily see any changes with the millions donated to NGOs, but I also have a responsibility to, 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 to take the initiative to make myself aware of are these proceedings being used. So, and I, to be quite honest with you, I don't think I make enough effort on that. Um, just to say that I should walk down the street and see it is not, I don't think is, is enough effort on my side. I'm certain that there's NGOs that are out there that are trying to do stuff, but then, you know, it's not enough. I think we need more uh, out there so that we can just combat. I mean, it's, uh, it's 2018. I mean, you know, we should be past that era where we still have to um, eradicate problems like this. We should be over it. So I think there should be more. Welcome back to It Daily Tet on the Youth Month. And I'm Shanja Sakulma about Indaba. Eba legi lega ma NGOs, charities, ma foundations, akona, ashuga, ashuga. Gutu tini mbona waka wakunga about them as well. Nana witi mali. Mbona waka kumele ispendwe ganjani le abai kolektayo. There's something coming in from Usmoli. Uh, I have seen charities giving kids useless education, bags, food, clothing, and etc., etc., et but I have never seen them attempt to train orphans uh, to have skills that make them get out and survive out there and start uh, something of their own. Wow, what a comment <laughs> there. We're going to be discussing it on the couch. We do have uh, Suneidi Kok from uh, Hana Charity, or oh, Financial Director. Welcome to Charity. Thank you very as much. As well as Usisu Pindi Lenzovu from Ipegi Zizo Foundation. Welcome, Sisi. Thank you so much. As a isn't a person who is imali person who organizations a person spend a person so um, I, as a founder and a director of uh, a newly established non-profit organization, 
what we have done is have a very transparent policy mm. so with the people so or, or sponsor shy so someone who gives us in Mali is not just gonna give us money and not and not know what are we doing mm. about it so we say this is the, the money you're giving us will be used in the particular manner and they are able to then contact us and ask um, any questions and we give them feedback, we give them reports, we send pictures. Yeah. So there is that accountability and transparency. All right. Yeah. Uh, but um, the yes. legislation yeah. is how the money is supposed to be used in an NPO and NGO. Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is. So, um, uh, uh, for, for example, within the NPO Act, mm -hmm. if you Google it, you will discover that there is financial accountability mm -hmm. that is there as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. But over and above that, uh, you can't register an NPO in South Africa without a constitution. Okay. So within the constitution, there is uh, there is a clause that talks about finances. Mm -hmm. about to say how are you supposed to govern the finances? Mm. So indeed, labantu ba di mali zabantu ngamayema zibapulumte tu mele babosh. Atiko ani lupo ulio gutunga yila imali while still doing the right thing and following the law. Oh yes, if big entities have done it, mm. then why can't small this, entities? Yeah, look by the system in so many ways. In the same way that you will, you will chow imali, uh, you have been given an accountability to go to Ulimar, meaning over a custodian Yalimar. Mm. Then you find ways in which you can manipulate. Mm. One of them is to lie, you know, mm. to your mm. funders. Mm. Uh, the problem, good mm. Yazin, the problem about my NGOs, I'm going to learn about monitoring and evaluation. Ah. Yeah. Meaning, if Umzi is a rich man and uh, he, he donates whatever. Now, they don't go back as a company. Imgo, my empowerment group, does not go back to the same company and say, I'm an Pindile, as in, I'm an, Pella, we've given you a, a million rand Wednesday. for this Wednesday. And I. Mm. So there's a lag. In fact, there are but seven reasons over the past four years that we've identified to be the key problems why NGOs are in a mess, some of them that they're at. We'll come now, back to Now, part of that is, is mm. the same issue mm. of financial accountability. Let me quickly come to you, uh, Sine, because it seems as if uh, some people don't understand why why do our organization need money in the first place? Um, organizations cannot survive on tins of food and clothing alone. Mm. When you enter areas and communities, you need to build trust in those communities. Yeah. You do not just walk in and people accept you yeah. and, and, and feel that you are there for their benefit. Mm -hmm. um, so we need to get people out there, especially from the communities as well. Yeah. And that is job creation. But some, some, some organization, they ask you to come and volunteer. And, mm. and, and what happened to the man then? You know what, in our specific organization, we go out into different areas. Yeah. We build the trust with the community for the development of the community. We set up educate systems. Um, Little, not play groups, I want to say. Okay. We call them Picanini Educare Centers. Mm. There we need to employ a teacher yes. and an assistant yes. who looks after kids between one and six years old whose parents can't afford to send them to schools. And you pay them a salary? We pay them a salary. Um, these kids get no meals at home. The only two meals they get a day is from our Educare Center. Mm. So just to put that into perspective, also mm. the... Um, the premises, mm. where, do we, where do we do this? Mm. This costs money. Mm. It's electricity, it's mm. the teacher, it's the kids. They get there in the middle of winter, they have nothing to wear, jackets, things like that. Basic mm. needs that these people have mm. um, to get them off the streets and give them some kind of education, early childhood development, which they would never have had. Mm. Pindile, when we were talking earlier on, you said something to the likes of Hore Obatauchincha, your organization in its current form, to perhaps a social development company. Yeah. And the reason why I ask this is I feel that the, 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 the NPO, currently this dependency of having to go and beg, and someone said they are professional yeah, beggars to go and beg for money. But if you're a social development company, it means that you can raise the funds yourself. Why did you feel the need to do that? And what are some of the things that you guys do that need money? So um, firstly, I will just say, the reason why I said I wanted to go um, in the direction of being a social enterprise mm. was because I want my nonprofit organization or the work we do to carry on, mm. even after so sustainability. So sustainability. So that was one big thing. And maybe it's because I do not have 
um, I haven't gone um, enough training okay. to know how to make a non-profit organization to be sustainable. Yes. And that is why then I am reverting to saying, let me have a company that makes profit and the proceeds then will do the work that I do. So for me, that's really important, having an organization that can stand even when I'm gone. Yeah. So how are you surviving right now? Right now, I am self-funding. And because I'm still new, I want to build trust. So I'm mm. working with different organizations. I work with the Come For You that they do amazing work mm. and we work together so that when I am looking for funding yeah. people trust me and they, I, I have a rapport and they would know what this yeah, girl is really really working and that is what I'm trying to do right now. That before say we call on Jagaman James, I want to find out you can move to a male and umbrella as I call the organization go by a record like or is it can part in a Hey, it becomes difficult to go to Kale in Tongue was we mail. Absolutely. But Abanya Bantu, they've started bad, but they ended up. Being I'm talking about maybe, yeah. let's say, go to Nere Cotelibi, maybe over Bosch or Boschel in the 80s or so. Therefore, go as to Colmuto Jagala. You call on Ababa, yes, back on, back on. Mm. Kona, uh, remember, Nitty, they go through a process of correction, hence correctional services. Mm. So once they've been corrected, then they come into the community and they now they, 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 want to, they want to make amends. Mm. But Abanya Bafiga and Maskeels about all. So my figure, Let's just go to a joy respect, mm -hmm. God's will, welcome to it. Daily Tetan for it is Bongo Gus Bambi Scatter said. Hello, God's will. Hello, God's will. Is she, is she, is she TV? Is she? Yes, 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 yes. Talk to us, Baba. Let's just cut this. This is not an NJ. A quick one. Uh, okay, okay. I have two questions for you. Put, okay, can you just switch off the sound in your background, Papa? And again, uh, okay, food. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, can I go to question in our Papa? Is that better? Yes, yes, it's much, much better. Okay. Okay, now I have two questions. Uh, we registered a company, uh, an NPO. We are dealing with small kids. Now, my question is how do we get help? Because we, we don't know how to get the expertise to help us with our passion. Yeah. We are looking at the kids who uh, maybe at primary level for now. Mm -hmm. So we want to empower them with skills that are extracurricular. I mean, uh, they are not from the school. Mm. Uh, skills like sign language, uh, hardware, computer, mm. okay. and uh, fine art. But we don't have the expertise. So I wanted to know how can we get help to do that. Okay, and good. the second good. question. Okay. Quick one, Babi Scott. Is, uh, I'm, a, I'm a foreign. I'm from Zimbabwe. So I registered with... My friends, uh, South African friends. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wanted to know if there are restrictions, if there are foreigners involved. Maybe it's just the fee that we have. When mm -hmm. I, was, so I just need you to clarify on that, Uti. Mm -hmm. Is there a restriction? When it comes to people who are not South African. Okay, so Pendulum Jamas Bui, I'm to end the show. Go to Bugeli TV. Open to more about that, ne? Thank you, sir. Thank you. So we cool. I think in my scar, gentlemen, just some insult, cockalate, dollar, must be as a cover, not a ballet to love with it. Welcome back to Daily Tetan. Zero level at the NGO, NPO's charity organization. Kam katsona rojo kuchu partner. Di baraka biyang na. And just to unpack korna, meru katsu na king. And are they really as impactful as they should be? We're joined on the couch by Simpio Kumalo and Pesh Rati Rumela. Welcome to Daily Tetan. Thanks. But before we get to the call, I request just a response from Tate Vincent. Tika ntuwe baibu ako phoneu. Korbana li charity abana. Ba it's abiyang. Uh, thanks, uh, Kola, for your question. I think from our point of view, what you need to do is you need to have a strong uh, 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 strategy okay. on how you're going to help those children. Mm. And then come up with a proposal with a clear budget and also how you're going to achieve whatever it is that you're doing. Mm. And then once you have that, then you need to make sure that you also sort out your registration process, mm. your legal processes in terms of your getting your registration sorted out. Then you can send a proposal. Yeah. Uh, the way we work as a children's fund, we do call, f call for proposal. So unfortunately mm. now, it, uh, it's, it's been closed. So yeah. we, uh, we do it per strategy. Yeah. But take time 
talk to us, yeah. and then we will be able to guide you in terms of how you apply for funding. Uh, uh, just, okay. just a note in Jay, go on, come take a one come at details of Mantis now, but Jenga Mantis or Tola on our social media if you follow us. So, was good to a drop a one key and my numbers on our was which are funnel as well. Uh, but quick one, Z about which um for Tetan Axio who got to the one a panzi and a part of someone from South Africa. Yeah, no, definitely. Look, um, to South Africa, OT, if there's a foreigner who wants to register an NPO, who finally have a, for example, a minimum of by three. So it has to be one foreigner and by two by South Africa. So it has to be there. But more than anything else, in terms of them getting sustainability and sustaining themselves, mm. they need to understand the purpose why they're establishing the entity in the first place. Why are you doing what you want to do? Mm. So that should be the first thing. So I think it's a was with him, Cesar All right. Anything that you do in life, and only the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm -hmm. Let's speak a little bit about what you guys do, Simpiwe. And then right after the Ratla, can I hold this, you know, the, 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 the other side of NPOs and NGOs? Okay. Uh, probably we are an umbrella body of non profit organization okay. under Community Information and Development Center. Okay. Because what we've seen and discovered is that whatever the issues that we are talking about, mm. the first key is that NGOs and NPOs. It was people who form it in a passionate time yeah. and in the one. The second one is that most of the people who opened NPOs, it used to be old people, mm. like our grannies, mm. mm. our mm. to mm. Now, when you talk about finances, we have a clara. When you talk about compliances, mm. we have a clara. Mm. That's why us as an organization, we've took the initiative of saying it is about time for us to teach people about the operation around our communities. Mm, mm. But more than anything else again is that we've created this structure where we say as organizations, let's stop to say I, let's be we, mm. let's combine amongst ourselves guys and work together. Because when I was listening to people here, we're doing a training, no money the training mm. around yeah, the same fine. areas. Mm. Why don't you combine so that it ends the impact? That's why other people they see or oh, sometimes we don't see any Thing among organization is it's because of that we are paralyzed. Yeah. So, but I'm in a season a structure and compliance only or often I'm not often an opinion in a conum season with accessing funding and growing, yes, mm. because what we've what, what we've uh, already we've created, we've created a relationship of saying let's work as a family, yeah. Now, what we does is that people. Let's forget what is happening so well. How can we come up with some initiative? Mm. Now there's a little that we donate every month amongst ourselves. Mm. We say the four hundred thousand that we get, PND, at least we are in a short with fifty thousand eight was good sustainable. Mm. And other initiatives that we are bringing in the community. Nice. Pash. Sure. Uh, I wanna find out from you, actually in the, I'm a community organization I'm they are doing something and Lempagatini, they are bringing change, but however, like Nicolette was saying, but sometimes there's always a good and a bad and a ugly. Sure. Why sometimes Gubenzima to track down a operatis cut a seat as men on and so on? Is it because in Lampa we call transparent ending law? I mean, maybe I should just make an example with, with, with um, our, our, our movement. Mm. Um, what is your movement? I mean, we, st we started off as, as lovers of Jeep Wranglers. Mm. Um, mm. It was a, a Jeep club. Mm. But I um, mean, after we started last year, but mm. then we realized that actually every, every time when we, we went out for coffee, mm. Um, there will be 25 jibs doing a convoy and people will be excited. Mm. So we decided, you know why, why don't we do an extension that we give back to the community? Mm. And then we started identifying homes that needed um, uh, an extra help. Nice. So as a club then we decided to our members, um, give us a mandate as leadership will go to different homes and mm. check their needs. Mm. So after, that, after those needs, we come present to you and we start with the most important needs that need to be addressed immediately. Mm. Uh, I mean, one of the homes that we, we adopted, um, it's in Sochangove. Mm. One of the immediate needs that we realized was that they needed food. Mm. They mm. had no food mm. at that particular moment. We came back to our members and said, let's, 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 let's donate, mm. you know? And we use our own money to make mm. this, uh, to give back to this. It's uh, always good when you guys are using your own money, but mm. once like some in Malenkuli in Ghana, that's when the corruption start mm. in most cases. Sure. So I mean, as as we we're, we're, we're very strict because, um, like I said, you know, we, we have a leadership, mm. um, and we have a mandate to report back to our members. So uh -huh. every little cent that we spend mm. is their mm. money, is their mm. contribution. Mm. We still need to go and do the books and say, guys, mm. this is how much we have spent. Mm. Same applies, you know, when uh, last week we went out and um, um, in Broco Spray, yeah. um, we donated about seventy blankets because it's winter. Kids need. Uh, as you know, some warmth. Mm. So, so those, 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 those are some of the things that we do as a movement, and there's more. 
you know. Mm. Uh, we try to, to, to get involved in homes um, that, that, are, that are housing uh, kids with special needs and the most vulnerable. Mm. You know, as I'm listening to Peshkin, I'm thinking of some of the work that we did last year. Mm. And, and sometimes people, it's money that needs to be donated. Yeah. But sometimes it's just time sure. and, and effort. But maybe let's speak to Sune, if you can just pass the mic down to Sune. Sune, <coughs> we often also hear for big companies use donations as tax, for tax benefits and tax incentive. They don't really care about who they give their money to, hence they don't go back and evaluate what the money's been used for. Um, we have not had that mm. before because the companies that we do deal with, um, mm. being registered as a public benefits organization, yeah. we can give out 18i certificates, which is a tax deductible for any company. Yeah. Um, and the companies that support us do so for many years mm. and they see what we do. So we do not find the companies that come around to us purely on that basis. Mm. You will always find that in the, in the sector, I'm sure. Mm. But we have been on the lucky side where the people that do support mm. us are there for the real reason and they see what we do. How uh, big is the tax benefit? Um, I, it's, it, it's taken from your gross taxable income. Mm. So I think at the moment it's about 10% per annum that you can do of your annual income mm. for companies and also for individuals. Mm. Mm. That's a let huge me, amount. Let me come into Pindi. Beggy Zizo Foundation. Beggy Zenzo. Beggy Zenzo. Yes. <laughs> uh, it was Eti Kamagababuaku. Yes, it was my father's name, and I thought he had a strategic <laughs> name. <laughs> it yes. it, yeah. When I took that name, it, it simply meant strategic actions, and mm. that's what I try to do for young people. Mm. What are young people doing daily mm. so that they become productive citizens? Mm. And we have two programs, a leadership um, program and an educational program. So I'm so passionate about the leadership program because we start talking about vision, vision and goal-setting workshops mm. and, and stripping ourselves from our self-imposed limitations. So we, mm. we work with people and we transform the mind. And some lady spoke about um, this mindset transformation. Mm. And that's what we do with the, these young mm. students. So that when they go for the computer training that, and, and, and everything else that we offer, they, they, they see the benefits. Nice. So, so for me, that is strategically acting and being in charge of your life. And that is why Peggy Zenzo then was. Oh, nice. nice one. Nice <laughs> one, Mama. I'm trying to look like this one. <laughs> We're going to go for a quick ad break. But before we go there, I'm still curious. They clean their money. Some of them are corrupt, but Lina Chelta are using charity and NPOs. But before we go to the ad break, let's read a little bit of social media coming in from Low Rizzi Lorraine. Are some charity organizers are doing an amazing job by helping the youth. However, some people have identified opportunities with the, within the whole charity thing to embark on cool activities that do not represent charity organizations. What but it's just but it is it's a long hanging fruit it's there sometimes companies even use it as a PR initiative Ukraine, they don't really care about the organization I think I think like you're saying but they just use this so-called charity mm. to hide their things about mm. I like the fact that uh, you'd find companies actually as one well, mm -hmm. who are just a club and mm. transforms the club into something mm. and make umeshugo because but Abang and Zilu to about that. Mm -hmm. There's a little one as well. The organization should be about people, not the money. I have an NPO since 2014, never applied for funding. However, we have graduates who benefited from our invention. That's, That's a good thing. I'm Charlene Zandoli. Mm -hmm. I think it's often very interesting, mm. Khorna, what type of organization do I start? Yeah. Especially for Batwaling in the media. Yeah. They sometimes get pulled into organizations and mm. charities that they're not really passionate about. Mm. Everyone is starting a pet drive. Mangle mm. Mangu collect the blanket, especially Karki Winter, no collect the blanket. But for the rest of the year, they are gone. Pesh, bye guy. Yeah, and I think I think what's more important is that um, if if you're gonna get involved in charity work, right? Um, it shouldn't be a once-off thing, mm. you know, um, like, like we do as 20 Jeepers. Mm. I mean, we started a movement called 20, Care, 20 yeah. Jeepers Cares. Mm. So all the homes that we adopt, we yeah. try to find other means of being a part of that family. Mm. Um, like the home that we have adopted in Social Move. Mm. We have, we have, we have pe different people from different walks in our, in our club. Mm. So we've got dentists, we've got doctors. Nice. So we're saying, so what, can, what, what other services can we give to these kids? Yeah. We're saying, okay, dentists must then start going visiting these kids. Yeah. Doctors must start checking them mm. without any fee attached to it. Mm. You know what? One thing in it all you don't need to start a charity organization. Even my local nanong nari is cut sack or anything. Ungan zume flu gem pagati. Nasa men say breaking say we after this.
If you've just joined us, we're having a very interesting conversation around the NGO NPO for now. Pamaka Ying Merkwapona King. We're joined on the couch by Malishoho Nolo Ngatani, who is from Fat Cats. And then we also have Sizwe Kaba, who is from The Last Supper. Welcome to Daily Theater. We've had an interesting conversation. Sizwe, what are some of the works that you guys do? Okay, basically at The Last Supper, what we do, let me just take you back quickly. Mm -hmm. I'm sure everybody knows that in ministries, there's what you call tithe, right? Mm. So tithe, you know 10%. The 10%. Then you take the 10%, you give it to Pastor Tewo, and then he buys a sports car. Mm. So mm. I realized that, you know what, instead of the people to complain to Mfuni to tell Imali, Imoto, Ngali, Imazawan, how's about instead of the people giving that tithe to the pastor who's not using it properly, mm. how's about they contribute that tithe to the Last Supper, and then we use that money to contribute to orphanages, welfares, and homes for the disabled. Currently working with a children's welfare, where there's 150 people, mm. and there's a disabled home for, it's called the Tembisa Self-Help Association for the Disabled. Mm. Basically, it's a place where people who are disabled, they come into there, and then they learn how to bake, they learn mm. everything. Mm. So, it's all about to and No, 10% and Please repeat your question. Is, 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 do they no. belong to our congregation? Not all of them. Okay. Some of them are young entrepreneurs that own businesses. Because okay. remember, uh, like you said earlier on, you don't need to be rich to make a difference. Yes. So as the last supper, we believe, I'm also running a business on the side called mm. Cover Lifestyle. Yeah. So I do marketing and PR for people. Yeah. So I can tell you, if I'm going to help you with your business, I also need you to pledge to the last supper. All right. I will see Lunaleta. Know, actually, it's quite interesting. Rona, we are a group of people who love sport. Okay. So we have different sporting codes. We are runners. We are cyclists. We play soccer. We play golf. And basically, it came about where a group of friends just came along and decided to form um, the club. Mm. And I mean, 15 years later, we sure. are now here. And basically, we then decided to form Cats Care, mm. and that is our CSI part of um, the the Fat Cats brand. In 15 years, what has been like your one achievement in a lot of lahona we pinpoint a lot in a kiaro na ina. So it's, it's, it's actually quite strange is that the cat's care part yeah. of it was about four years ago. Mm. But I mean, it came, I mean, we've done amazing things. We've put generators in some schools in KZN. Oh, nice. We've helped schools um, within Guiani. We have also done some work in Ghana. And right now what we're focusing on is basically working within four provinces. Mm. We basically have what we call a cat's care triple four. Mm. And that's basically we want to be helping, raising more than 400,000 to help more than 400 kids within four within four provinces mm. in South Africa. All right, that's very interesting, Kidney. Let's give them a hand, guys. Um, in closing, in last card, um, one thing of which I want to about to start my organization. Yeah, one thing, Uti, don't wait for a funding. Mm. Just use what you have. Because mm. now, Tina, Guma Mohana Managana, Citizen. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have my equipment, but we keep my pockets in way to, you know, afterwards, Business con which is provided because now uh, aside since I intrip organic stuff, so it's pure. After that, with the base, bazo ends with the babon with no signs are looking like a peg in seventy so cities and sabafundisa signs after a sign. So by giving, by giving you money, uh, Nisho said, no tolan. So Tina, it's full with our infrastructure as peggy can't as pegan would see la would see, spell with the band laba. In closing 20 seconds, uh, what do you want to say? Gay 27 and 28, Simemon Parati won't go to South Africa to come and descend into a deep cloth. So, the speeds are under the mall. City of Gordon and our private entities, okay. private individuals, about Tina, cinema. And we want to help you in order for you to be able to go to the world, go to the sustainable. So, in 27, we've got what is called the Funding Expo mm -hmm. happening in September at the proof. Uh, so, in Canada, is it? But for more information, you charge me to, to register. In, in, no, absolutely. Yeah. For, for about about just it's 50 rand. It's mm -hmm. 50 rand, but it's only okay, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Of course, I've got a guys with Melo Silva, I think it's Kata Sass for Melo. Just one comment before we go, Nicolette. Yeah, maybe perhaps we can get a comment from Usman Piyue. Okay. Uh, when I, what exactly I wanted to say, Wuti, 
I'm glad Uguti, everyone is doing a very great job. Mm -hmm. But being glad Uguti, in terms of my identification. Because what I've discovered is that each and every company that they want to hand up anything, they can say, we're going to nurse them the last children's home, or we're going to a sanka, but already those people are sustainable. Right. They are organizations that they need to be identified. All right, Sophia, we have to close it right there. Thank you very much for tuning in. All the contact details are on all our social media pages. Thank you.